Hi everyone, I'm author and illustrator Jerry Craft, and welcome to my world. This comic here was the very first comic book I ever did, and that was when I was in about the seventh grade, and I knew then that I was hooked, and this was just the start. So way back in 1997, I started my own publishing company, and the first book I ever did was Mama's Boys, As American as Sweet Potato Pie, and this was the first of about two or three dozen books that I self-published over about 20 years. Then one day, I got handed a copy of Smile by Raina Telgemeier, and I was like, wow, middle grade graphic novels. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life. You know the Mama's Boys book I showed you? I turned that into a 96-page full-color graphic novel because I figured if I could do a 96-page one, I could eventually do a 250-page one. And that's where New Kid came from. In 2014, I pitched the idea loosely based on my life and those of my two sons, being one of the few kids of color in a prestigious private school. And then a year later, da, 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 New Kid became the first ever graphic novel to win the coveted John W. Newberry Medal for the most distinguished contribution to American literature for children. And little did I know that one day, my books would be translated into more than a dozen languages, including Spanish, Korean, Italian, and even Albanian. I'm so happy that now kids from all over the world can now share a little peace of mind. Class Act, companion to the Newberry Medal winner, New Kid. This follows Jordan, Drew, and Liam in their eighth grade year. And you know, I'm not just the author of New Kid and Class Act, I'm also the illustrator. And let me show you my process of how I draw Jordan Banks. When I'm drawing Jordan Banks, I keep very simple shapes. He's also very symmetrical. There's the letter C, backwards C, dash, dash, eyes closed, eyebrow, eyebrow, one, two, three, one, two, three. The number 11 for his neck. Let's put a little shadow there. He always has to wear a collared shirt. And of course his hoodie, his favorite article of clothing. And now here's the sketch pad. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let's put a little perspective in there. Hands are very tough. I'm gonna start with a rectangle and then break it up into his fingers. Triangle for the other hand and rectangle. This will be his mechanical pencil and his shoulder. Change the hands like that. He always wears his backpack. Here is the strap, the top of the backpack and then shade in the hair, and last but not least, the signature. Voila. With New Kid in Class Act, I dug deep into my own life as a kid. So much of Jordan Banks is so much of what young Jerry Craft was like. Each day I went from Washington Heights to a school in Riverdale. So every day I went back and forth from one world to the other. Like Jordan Banks, I was always one of the smallest and the youngest kids in my class. I always wanted to be an artist, and my mom and dad did not want me to be an artist. Like Jordan, I also grew up in Washington Heights. In fact, the building where he lives is actually the building where I grew up. I am back in my old stomping grounds in the Washington Heights section of New York City where I was born and spent most of my young life. When I tell you that this house is as important a character as any of the characters in New Kid, I mean it. This is where mom and dad go up the stairs and invite their friends for dinner. This is where Kirk and his friends sit on the porch and talk. This is a big part because that's what me and my friends did. They put the gates up, but we all used to sit on, on the porch all, and just be just kids all up here. This was one of the best childhoods that any kid could have. On this street behind me is where we used to play Lodi's or Skelly's, touch football. We used to play stickball and sometimes against all the blocks, which is not my favorite thing, I have to admit, because like Jordan Banks, I was always one of the smallest kids that was playing. We joked a lot, you know, we teased each other a lot, but it was all in love. Like, we didn't hurt each other's feelings. And so I learned, you know, we all had sharp sense of humor because everyone could like dish it out. I think that sense of humor over the years has got to a point where I could like take serious subjects and put it down and make it kind of relatable so everyone can relate to it. I actually said hi to some neighbors who are still here, believe it or not. Hey, George, how you doing? 
I couldn't do a book about the block and not have y'all in there. Because when I tell you we were like the little rascals, we did stuff all day, every day. There was just so many other little parts. This is Jamel Mansion, where we used to play in the grass, although we probably weren't supposed to, but I'm just saying. The cobblestone streets, Yankee Stadium, just literally, I can see parts of it right here. And this is all part of what made my surrounding neighborhood such a great place to grow up. And that brings us up to the release of School Trip. In New Kid and Class Act, we talked about their class maybe going to Paris. Well, you know what? They're actually going to Paris. I can't wait for it to come out. The book birthday is April 5th, 2023.